Hey everybody, uh, I just stopped watching the address by Governor Whitmer and it's not the news I wanted and it's not the news that I would assume that you guys wanted either. Uh, sucks. So anyways, I, I had posted some stuff today or yesterday that I want to do tomorrow just so we can check on demand. All of the information about what the school year is going to look like after spring break will be decided on today. So don't, or tomorrow, sorry, it's gonna be decided on tomorrow. Gutman's meeting with his uh, admin at the ESC, and then he's gonna to talk to the admin in our building, and then we'll know what we're doing. And besides next week is spring break, so. Uh, I guess, I just, I'm really sad. I miss everybody a lot. Uh, I'm s s bummed that Kate's not gonna finish her first year of kindergarten and Henry's not finishing second grade with the people you started it with. I'm sorry you're not finishing your freshman year with, with me. Um, but I will see you next year. So even if I don't see you, you know, face to face for the rest of the year, it's, it's not done. Um, so I thought I would tell you the story about the time my grandma fell off the porch. Seems like a good way to end it because I've never had a class not know that story. And if I told it to you already, then too bad you get to hear it again. So my brother and I took my grandma French, my mom's mom, out to dinner one night when we were both in college. And there was a burger place that my grandpa loved, and we went there and took her there after he had passed away. And um, we just had a really nice time, and we dropped her off at her house. And she had a really long porch, not completely unlike mine. If you see Kate's, that's Kate's fairy table, fairy garden table there. But, um, but it didn't have a wall, so it was like an open-ended porch, like super long but no guardrails or anything anywhere. So uh, she, she got out of the car and she's like, thanks kids, you know, it was really nice. And I was like, you're welcome grandma, we love you. And she's like, all right, call me when you get back up to school. So my brother and I get back in the car and we look up and she's gone. And we were like, whoa, she got into the house like really fast and shut the door. And my brother was like, oh, the lights are still off. She's not, she could not have gotten inside the house. So we get out of the car and we're like, Grandma? And we hear, I'm in the bushes! <laughs> she had sideways walked somehow from her front door, boop, 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 all the way off her porch and into the bushes. So we pulled her out of the bushes and got her in her house and she looked at us and was like, if the two of you say anything to your mother, you're both dead to me. And we were like, okay, like we won't prom we promise we won't tell her. We got in the car and called my mom like immediately because one, how the heck did she walk 20 feet to the left and then fall in a bush? And then two, like, of course we're going to tell my mom. The second you tell me not to tell my mom, I'm telling my mom. So we called her and my mom was like, stay in the driveway. So we stayed in the driveway and my grandma comes to the window. She's got the phone on her ear, like the old house phone. And she pulls the curtain back and she goes, <laughs> I still don't regret doing it. And I love telling the story every time. I wish I could enact for you the actual falling off the porch, but I need the front of my classroom to do it. So get the demand stuff done. And um, I will check in with you after spring break. If you've got anything else you want to email me or ask me or tell me, you know, I'm not going anywhere. So you might as well. And uh, I miss you like crazy. Hang in there, all right? I'll talk to you soon.